we'll be making Caffeinol Developer for printing. In previous videos, I showed you how to make Caffeinol Developer for our film, and that is something that works really well. The film isn't stained at all, and the negatives look really good. I've recently been experimenting with Caffeinol Paper Developer, and I'm really impressed with the results, so I wanted to share it. Caffeinol Developer is made of coffee, vitamin C, and soda crystals. If you looked at my previous video, you can find out more about the Caffeinol development process. I used Ilford One Tone Paper, um, and I used that with contact printing, and that works really well. The Caffeinol really seeped into the photographic paper and stained the paper, and left this really nice antique patina to the photographic paper. Today I'm going to be showing you how to enlarge from a negative with Caffeinol Paper Developer. This recipe is adapted from Anna Haringa, who makes really wonderful Caffeinol prints. I'm currently making work for an exhibition at Big Day Film Collective, which is in the United States. I'm printing from my Ancient Light series, which you can also find out about in previous videos. Ancient Light is a series of photographs where I'm thinking about light travelling for thousands, if not millions of years, before reaching photosensitive film. And I'm really excited that I'm now starting to use Caffeinol Film and Paper Developer as well as other plant-based developers in the production of this work. So I'm printing these ancient light photographs using the Caffeinol Developer. So there'll be a kind of sepia brownish colour rather than the usual black and white and I'm really excited about how that's going to turn out. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the process. So I'm going to mix 75 grams of soda crystals into 500 millilitres of warm water. I'm then going to leave that to dissolve completely. Then I'm going to mix 25 grams of vitamin C so now I've measured out the vitamin C, I'm going to make sure that this soda crystals mixture has been dissolved and then pour in my vitamin C. Now I'm going to measure out 75 grams of coffee and I'm using Algae's Finest. I'm going to pour the coffee in and I'm going to need to mix this really well. Oh, it's so sludgy. So now I'm going to top this up to one litre. Now I have my one litre, I'm going to pour it into my tray. In my trays, I have developer. Then I'm going to put some water where you would usually have stock. And then I have fix, which is left over from other processing. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can actually see me here, but now I'm going to set up my enlarger so that I can print my image. So I'm going to expose for 10 seconds. Now I'm going to put my photographic paper into the developer and I'll leave it there for about two minutes. I'm not actually going to show you this whole process, but I'm basically going to develop, stop for 30 seconds, fix for two minutes, and then wash. So here we have the finished print. You can see that it has taken on a slight tone. However, you can see that some of the borders are white, so they haven't taken on the tone at all. You can see the individual craters on the moon, and there's a little bit of movement from where the developer has been over the photographic print. I really like this kind of imperfect way of making a photograph. I like all of the artifacts from making the image and I'm really excited about printing more from this series. I think it's gonna be really interesting and cool. In summary, you can make your own developer using coffee, vitamin C and fixer, 
for photographic paper and you can print from a negative. One of the things that's really tricky about Kapanor Paper Developer is that depending on the temperature and the amount that you've used your Kapanor Developer, the exposure and developer times will vary quite a lot. The best thing to do is to be intuitive and to accommodate either way. So if your Kapanor Developer is exhausted, then the best thing to do is to expose for a much longer time. If your Kapanol developer is just mixed and it's still quite a high temperature, just reduce your exposure. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube and also join my Patreon. Now I'll show you the result from the contact printing as well as the photograph that was created today. Thank you very much and see you next time.